So the sample tank 2 is basically like having a keyboard workstation inside your computer. So you've got all your basic sounds that you need for production. Just like you would in a Yamaha Motif or a Roland Phantom or a Korg Triton, something like that. So you've got all your sounds in there that you need, but they're all inside your computer. All right, so let's take a look at it real quick. <coughs> Now one of the keys to sample tank too is how easy it is to use, all right? So you've got your three basic sections, you've got your instrument section, you've got your browser section, and you've got your sound section down here, okay? With your instrument section, you've got 16 parts multi-tenant browsing. So you've got uh, 16 instruments you can use and 16 MIDI channels. So you've got one through 16 here on the left. And then you go over here, this uh, line here shows you how many megabytes of memory you're using. Then you've got your polyphony. Polyphony on here is 256 notes of polyphony, and each instrument you can adjust the polyphony on it. So if you've got like a bass line, you only need like a couple of notes going at the same time. So you would put your polyphony to like two or three. And uh, for drums, you'd kick it up. For pianos, you'd put it up to like you know 200 notes of polyphony probably. <clears throat> you got your panning, you've got your volume, and you've got your outputs. With your outputs, you can have 16 stereo outputs on here. So you can mix everything individually. You can have all 16 of your instruments going out to their own separate audio channel so you can mix them properly with compression, EQ, and different effects on every single instrument. So. So I've got my bass sound. Now if I want to just lay down like a little track real quick. <laughs> Alright, so I can load that up. basic track laid out. I've got some stuff here going on. Now, <clears throat> let's say that I want to take my drums, I want to put them inside of like a room or something like that. With Sample Tank 2, it's really easy with your effects session. Now, you can see here, we've got every instrument has five insert effects here. You've got one, two, three, four, five effects, <clears throat> and I can easily put different effects on here. I've got my reverb. I'm going to turn it on. Let's uh, go here. <laughs> I can easily just control my different effects. It's very, very easy to do. If I want to throw a different effect on here, I can just go over here. If I want to make it like lo-fi or something like that. I can make it lo-fi, I can make it, make it more lo-fi, less lo-fi. It's very easy to control my different effects. This is one of the cool things about Sample Tank, is just how easy it is to get in here and just mess with your sounds. And then if I wanted to take my uh, sounds, go over here to my different synth sounds, like let's go to my fretless bass. Let's say that my bass sound has too much of an attack on it.
get in here and easily play with your sounds and easily uh, change things up a lot. So, last what I want to talk about here real quick is the synth sampler section. <clears throat> I've got my envelopes, I've got my synth, I've got my LFO, velocities, filters, and you can see when I click on each of these buttons, it just changes the knobs under here. So it's really easy, it's all right there, simple to use. Now, we're going to go over here to the synth section real quick, and you're going to notice, oops, synth. All right, so synth, you might be asking yourself, like, what is synth all about? What is this? So <clears throat> what synth is, is the different kinds of engines that you can use inside of Sample Tank. There's three different engines you can use. There's the resample engine, which is your normal, like a sampler. You play it higher on the keyboard, it gets higher and squeakier, and you play it lower on the keyboard, it gets, like, longer and stretched out. Or your uh, pitch uh, shift and time stretch, which is kind of uh, granular synthesis type of stuff. And then you've got stretch, which stands for uh, sample tank time resynthesis technology. Now I'm going to show you real quick an example of how stretch can be really, really cool. <clears throat> so we're going to go here, and we're going to get a vocal loop. I've got a vocal over here. And this is Oh Baby. Oops, let's create another MIDI track real quick. Okay, so we got Oh Baby. Oh. oh baby, oh baby. So let's say your guy came over here and he recorded this oh baby for you. Oh baby. And he's got oh baby and you record it and then his girlfriend calls up and says, yo, you got to come home right now and clean the kitchen because I'm all pissed off at you and you ain't getting no love unless you come home right now and uh, help out with this. So he, he leaves, right? But he didn't record all the harmonies and stuff. He got the one. Oh baby. That's great. Sounds great. But he didn't get everything that he needed to get. So, <clears throat> with the stretch technology, you can actually throw your sample into Sample Tank and then stretch it out. <clears throat> oh, baby! Oh, baby! And then you can do your harmonies. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! And that's pretty cool, okay. right? So now let's say, great, okay, he recorded that. You got your harmonies there, you got your music and your harmonies and everything, but let's say, wow, you know, the melody, I want to change it up a little bit. All right, so you go over here to your stretch, you got your stretch on. Portamento, you change to legato. Okay, and then you can change your melody. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! It's pretty cool, and this is something that's really only easily done with sample tape. So you got your sample tank, you throw some vocals into it, you can suddenly just go ahead and change them up pretty much however you want to. And it's pretty cool. Now if you wanted to make them sound like, like Darth Vader or something like that, get in here and play with your harmonics. Uh, it's kind of like Darth Vader with the cold, I guess. But uh, So you can get in, you can really do a lot of cool things with it. So I like playing around with this stuff and just... Like, oh, 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 you can slow things down. So if I want to make him slower, go over here my tempo. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So you get that uh, fat boy slim effect. All right, so that's basically Sample Tank 2. That is Sample Tank 2.